Well, guys, it's time to delve back into the criminal mind. And this time we have a special episode of sorts, I guess, because this is a special criminal. We're talking about none other than the very infamous John Wilkes Booth, the one that assassinated Abraham Lincoln, one of the most beloved presidents of all time, and uh, definitely a guy that goes down in history as being a very, very bad person and not very well liked or fondly remembered, obviously, for obvious reasons. So I'm going to give you guys a little, um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background on Mr. Booth here, give you guys my initial thoughts on uh, John Wilkes Booth, and then I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, as always. So let's take a look. John Wilkes Booth, who was born on May 10th, 1838, and was killed April 26th, 1865, age 26, was an American stage actor who assassinated President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. on April the 14th, 1865. Booth was a member of the prominent 19th century Booth theatrical family in Maryland and from Maryland, and by the 1860s was a well-known actor. He was also a Confederate sympathizer, vehement in his denun denunciation sorry, of Lincoln, and was strongly opposed to the abolition, uh, the abolition, oh my god, you're going to have to forgive me, I'm butchering this, of slavery in the United States. Booth and a group of conspirators originally plotted to kidnap Lincoln, but later planned to kill him. Vice President Andrew Johnson and Secretary of State William A. H. served in a bid to help Confederacy's cause. So they were looking to not only kill Lincoln, but actually kill um, two other people as well. Um, although Robert E. Lee's Army of North Virginia had surrendered four days prior, Booth believed the American Civil War was not yet over because Confederate General Joseph E. Johnson, Johnston's army was still fighting in the Union Army. Of the conspirators, only Booth was completely successful in carrying out his respective part of the plot. Booth shot Lincoln once in the back of the head. The president died the next morning. Seward was severely wounded but recovered. Vice President Johnson was never attacked at all. Following the assassination, Booth fled on horseback to southern Maryland, eventually making his way to a farm in rural northern Virginia 12 days after the killing, where he was tracked down. Booth's companion gave himself up, but Booth refused and was shot by a Union soldier after the, after the barn in which he was hiding was set ablaze. Eight other conspirators or suspects were tried and convicted, and four were hanged shortly thereafter. So... He didn't last too long after he killed Abraham Lincoln, that's for sure, but he definitely cemented his legacy in history. He will forever be known, like pretty much everybody else that we cover in this to a point, but this guy's on a much grander scale than I think any of the other people I've covered in this because he killed a president. I mean, that's some big shit, uh, you know, like uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, which who I, I'm going to confirm now we will be covering in a future episode. He's a pretty big deal, too, because he killed, you know, uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, so these are really, really big deals. Now, what do I think about him? Well, obviously he was a bad person. You know, he was against them freeing, you know, the slaves. He was against, he was against, uh, um, you know, black people and other kind of slaves having the rights of, of regular people. So of course he was a bad person. You know, anybody that believes in slavery is a fucking moron. <clears throat> and this is a very ugly part of American history that people like John Wilkes Booth because they they were just so you know, a part of their time, so to speak, he was just so set in his ways, and he just did not believe that slavery should be gone. He thought that it had a place, and he blamed Lincoln for it, as well as the other two people that were to be uh, murdered as well. Um, so John Wilkes Booth, he was, a, he was a bad person, obviously, as I've said, and uh, I don't really need to tell you that. That should be pretty obvious to you. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was just not a very nice man at all. In a weird way, in this picture I'm looking at, he almost looks like Ed, Edgar Allan Poe. Not as weird looking. Anyway, uh, yeah, definitely interesting to say the to say the least. You know, uh, you know, whenever a president, you know, get, gets assassinated, really the two biggest ones that we talk about, really. Um, I'm not really good with my presidency history, so if no one other, I'm, I don't know if anybody else has been assassinated, and I'm probably sounding really retarded. And I'm talking about the actual president, not people around the president. Um, but yeah, those are the two biggest one: Abraham Lincoln, and of course John F. Kennedy. Um, so it's, it's pretty interesting. 
to uh, say the least. You know, he's just, I just think that the guy was just so set in his ways that he just, he just felt that, you know, Lincoln was just doing the wrong thing. He felt that Lincoln was, you know, just a bad person and he was fucking up everything in America and he was taking away the slaves. Like I said, you know, you gotta, you gotta look at it from their perspective and I'm not sympathizing with this guy. Like I said, slavery is horrible, horrible. It's an ugly part of history. It's terrible. And I'm so glad that this was, uh, you know, fixed. You know, I'm glad that everybody has rights now and, and all that. That's the way it should have always been. And, uh, but, you know, these people, they're just so set in their ways that they just refuse to, to have an open mind because it's what they believe. I mean, there's still people out there that are extremely racist. There's still people out there like neo-Nazis and, and other people that are just extremely racist. I mean, every group has their own group that's kind of I mean the KKK is still around you know you got all these different groups that are extremely racist and extremely bad but luckily for the most part this kind of dumb shit's gone so uh, anyway I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up here I think I've talked enough about this uh, scumbag you guys can let me know what you think of Mr. John Wilkes Booth in the comments below and of course as always guys thank you so much for, so much for watching I, uh, I I'm happy that a lot of you love the series so you guys in the future guys take it easy and uh, yeah, that's about it.